and we're going to be anchoring that prayer from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13 to verse 15. A very familiar passage as well, but very instructive for us at this time. If it can help us. These all died in faith, not having received. Pay attention. I began by talking about hope deferred, making the heart sick. But look at some people whose heart was not sick. These all died in faith, not having received the promises. But having seen them afar off, were assured of them. Embraced them. And confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Give us next verse, please. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. I say, forget about the craziness. Okay? And if truly they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had the opportunity to return. Last verse, 16. But now they desire a better. We belong to the better. We are in the better. Yes. You know, there is a man of God. His name is Pa S.G. Elton. He's dead and long gone. Some of you are familiar with him. He's, he's called the father of Pentecostal Christianity in Nigeria because he was, he was, he was, he was in his house. He was in his, his country somewhere in the United Kingdom. Far away. He was far away in the UK. God came to him and said, pack your bags, get your stuff ready, and go to Africa and do for me a walk there. The man had never been to Africa before. He knew nothing of Africa. He had to start looking for how to get to Africa. He got his stuff ready and he came by boat. Got to Africa, landed somewhere in Oshobo, or Shun State, somewhere around there, and he began you know, a quiet walk. From that walk that he did, the likes of Apostle Ayo Babalola started ministry and doing exploits. Bensi Nidahosa of Blessed Memory started. All kinds of amazing stuff that is the root of today's Christianity that we all practice started from that man. There's something Pa S.G. Elton said. Which, is, which, which, which I'm going to tie to this verse which, which we just read and take our last prayer. He said there is going to come a time that Nigeria will be known all over the world for corruption and nonsense. I'm paraphrasing. That nonsense is my own. That's not from him. What he said was we will be known for corruption worldwide. And that after a while, God will turn around that signature. Listen why I gave you guys this scripture. These all died in faith, not having received the promise, but because they believed, that's our prayer right now for the church of God and for Nigeria. If you are not familiar, I didn't give you guys word for word of the prophecy, but the prophecy to summarize is, is Nigeria is going to be mad around the world, known for corruption, but after that cycle of madness and corruption, there will come a divine turnaround. You see, you see, I was telling someone earlier, I said, Nigeria can exhaust you. It can exasperate you. It can make you want to lose your head. Because of the nonsense that you see around. But when you have a word like that, we are going to pray. You are going to say, Father God, if I gave up on Nigeria before, because I got overwhelmed by the craziness, I received a revival of my faith, not in our political leaders, but in the word of God. The God that makes a turnaround possible. Did you see the craziness going on in Nigeria right now? How many of you saw it coming? The, the, cool, the cool leader in Nigeria said a few days ago that that they, that they overthrew uh, Bazoum because of some attacks that were spanned against Nigeria. How many of you heard that? 
I don't know whether it's true or not. I just know that the dynamics around West Africa has changed drastically in the last two months. And I don't know if you saw it, but it's, it's our reality right now. Is that true? We're asking one another this evening to say, let us hold to what God has said and disregard the crazy permutations. So you're going to say, Father God, that counsel that you have written of old regarding Nigeria, you guys, that counsel that you have written of old regarding Nigeria, right now I align myself with it. Father, that prayer, that prophecy, that utterance of the fathers regarding this land, we align ourselves with. We are not consumed by the craziness. No, we are not. But we declare our faith in our God who is able to turn the craziness around in the name of Jesus. Bring to pass your word. Father, establish this your counsel. Cause our eyes to see the consolation of Nigeria's deliverance in the name of Jesus. Open our eyes, oh God. Cause us to witness the rebirth of this country in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We're told that Daniel went to God and began to pray and said to God, Father, according to what is written in the volume of books, this is what was written by prophecy. That after we have spent 70 years, you are going to bring the, deli the deliverance about. I do not know. Per as the Elton didn't give us the timeline. He just simply said, the craziness will be followed by revival and transformation. Let's pray. Let's say, Father God, we sense it. I sense it. I sense it. That we are on the verge of that turnaround. Why, why do I speak like this? Because the craziness outside is too much. That's why I sense that we are on the verge of that turnaround. Begin to pray and say, Father God, Father God, give Nigeria, bring that prophecy to pass. Give us the joy. Give us the joy. Give your church the joy of witnessing with our eyes. This war, this ancient world you have given in the name of Jesus. Give us the joy, Father God. Give us the joy, Father God. Give us the joy. Give us the joy. Give us the joy. Give us the joy, us the joy of seeing with our eyes a new Nigeria in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I'd like to encourage you guys to keep making this prayer. A country can have a rebirth. After the Second World War, when the United States dropped the bomb, the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan shut down. Look at Japan today. A country can have a rebirth. And it can happen in our lifetime. It would happen in our lifetime. You will see it all, and you will talk about it. I'm not giving you cliche. I'm telling you, you will see it. You see, it's not my business how God will bring about the rebirth, but it's my business to pray. It's my business to say, Father God, this prophecy would happen, and we'll see it with our eyes. There's a man of God that was praying like this. He was praying, God bless you, my sister. It is possible. This man of God was praying like this. He was praying like this. And what was his prayer? He said, Father God, let my eyes see the consolation of Israel. Let my eyes see it. Let my, I want to see it. The man kept praying. And guess what? One day. One day. He, he came to church. He was in the synagogue. He was in the synagogue. He had been praying. 
Let my eyes see. I want to see that. I want to see it. This is not, this is not ESA. I want to see it. He didn't know when. He didn't know how. But he was there present that morning. As he appeared in the hall. Something said to him. Look at that baby that that woman is holding. As he looked at the child, there was a witness in his heart. This that you see is what you've been praying about. And what did he say on that day? You will say that on that day. Oh. You will say it about Nigeria. It's not because I said it all. Oh. It's because God said it. The man said, Lord, my eyes have seen. I want you to raise your hand to God and say, Father, my eyes will see the consolation of Nigeria. I will see that rebirth with my eyes in the name of Jesus. You will cause us to walk on the land, on the streets of a new Nigeria. You will cause us to walk on the land and on the streets of a new Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Begin to applaud the Lord again for answers to your prayers. We applaud you, Jehovah. We applaud you, Lord of all. We applaud you, prayer answering God. We applaud you, our Father who can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think according to your power that works within us. We applaud you, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You deserve all the applause. You have earned your, the right to all the applause. All the accolades belong to Jehovah. We celebrate you today. Blessed be your name forevermore. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! See, we have to believe in this country. And take time, uh, by the way, thank you so much for creating such an awareness. This is not the time to give up. When he was talking about Pai Elton, those who repented early know the knifes and all those things. There was this song we used to sing, and I want us to sing that song. Well, because when he, he we talk in knifes conference, they will sing that song. Revive your work, oh Lord, we pray. Oh Lord, revive your work. The glory of the Lord must cover this land as the water covers the sea. The name of Jesus must reign supreme in Nigeria. Revive your work, O oh Lord. leading that prayer this is what please i'm sorry this is not my segment i knew i i know i want not i told myself i'm coming to drink but as he was ministering god whispered something to me please i want to appeal to all the pastors please come you will just say a word concerning nigeria you will speak briefly it's not long prayers very straight forward Declare, Pastor Joy, please, every pastor. The glory of God must cover this land. And God must reign supreme. The purpose for which God ordained Nigeria will be accomplished. No matter what men do, their power can never be greater than our the power of our God. Pastor Limide, please start. Brief. 
Righteousness exalts a nation. Yes. Sin is a reproach to any people. We mm. speak over Nigeria from yes. the north to the south, from the east to the west. Mm. That righteousness will begin to exalt this country in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our eyes shall see it. Mm. Our light in our lifetime it shall happen. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Our Father, according to the authority you've given us in the name of Jesus, we put an end to the error of corruption. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Lord, we speak, Lord, let the new Nigeria arise in our lifetime, in our days. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this nation called Nigeria. Mm. It's a country you ordained for us to be a member of it. Father, we want to declare from the north to mm -hmm. the south, yes. east Arak to the west. Uriabake. We declare your Masakata. peace to reign in the name of Masukaba. Jesus. Father, Le! you told us in the world that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. Amen. Father, we declare, oh God, we remain alive to be a partaker of the good thing you are ordained for this yes, nation. Father. We thank you because it is done. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In brief, Je please. Brief. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, nations of the whole world will come and learn righteousness in Nigeria. Righteousness in governance. Righteousness in leadership. Righteousness in trade and economics. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For the earth is the Lord. Yes. And its fullness thereof. Amen. Jehovah, you have a prophetic plan for this Amen. nation. And we declare that your plan will prevail over the schemes of men, over the powers of darkness. We declare that Nigeria will live out her prophetic destiny yes. in our time. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You created the world and for your pleasure it was yes. created. That yes. includes Nigeria. We thank you for what you're doing. Yes, Father. Our eyes shall see it. Amen. And we will return the glory to you. Amen. This is to you now. He says you are my battle axe. Yes. He said light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend. Amen. Go and be my fragrance Amen. to your country Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And after God answered the prayers, Anna returned to the temple and said to Eli, I'm the woman that prayed that time. See what the Lord has done. This shall become our song in Nigeria very yes. soon. See what the Lord has done. Amen. From security to economy, see yes, what the Lord God. has done. Yes. From every parastatal to every sector and yes, section Lord. of this yes, country, Lord. this shall become our song. Amen. See what the Lord has done. Amen. And because there is nothing impossible for God to do, Nigeria has become a possibility today yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. The wheels of turning has come to Nigeria. See what the Lord has done. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You will not only hear of it, you shall become a partaker of it. Amen. You shall enjoy of it. Amen. You shall celebrate in it. Amen. And this will be our song forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. Nigeria, you are wise. Amen. Nigeria, you fear the Lord. Amen. In all facets of this nation and when the captivity that is holding us right now they'll they turn around all of us will be like people that had dreamt yes. because our eyes will see the beauty and the glory of the Lord God Almighty thank you for your fear upon this nation Lord we give you praise in Jesus name Amen. hallelujah while um, um, Brother Robinson was leading us in prayer. I just remember a dream I had. In that dream, I think at the beginning of this month, we were queuing, some people were queuing, and I was afraid. I said, hey, this thing is not going to go the way normal go. <laughs> and all of a sudden, in that dream, 
everything was going properly, normally, without anybody, any magomago. And just, and I said, eh, in Nigeria, and I woke up. I have forgotten that dream. Now I'm going to write it down. And just as God showed that there will be life, good in this nation, so it shall be in the name of Jesus. The good that God has put upon Nigeria, righteousness shall reign. And all of us, including generations that will follow us, even those ones we will be telling them about yes. the story of when Nigeria was corrupt because they will not have part of that. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nigeria is for God. Yeah. The people and his wealth. The land from north, east, west, and south. The king rides in in his full glory and he takes his place at the helm of affairs and every other power that has exalted itself against him are brought down to bow and those that refuse to bow he places his feet on their neck to subdue them that is what God is doing concerning this land it might be dark right now behold a glory comes forth and out of this rubble shall shine forth a beauty to the glory of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit the bleeding that Nigeria has suffered comes to an end. The leakages come to an end. The hemorrhage ceases. Any refusal to comply suffers God's wrath and anger in the name of Jesus. So we decree, so we declare, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, pastors. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. I, I, I feel really, really, uh, you know, lifted up because I know we've made prayers and it, it's already working. A flash came in and I saw a white horse and someone riding on that white horse into this nation. So we will hold on to it. It's his promise. And it will never return to him void. There shall be a performance. So give the Lord a round of applause.